Hello everyone, it is Leon here and and Phil, who has gone to Media Molecule, or been to Media Molecule I should say, to see Tearaway. Now we're seeing a little bit of uh, kind of trailer footage here, setting the scene, just in a, in a nutshell, what is it? Uh, so it's a platform adventure in a sort of papercraft world, you're developing this relationship with Iota, the, the character there, his head is an envelope, you're trying to figure out what is in that envelope, apparently it's a unique message to each player, uh, and to find out what's in the envelope you have to navigate this world through various locations, there's like a desert and then there's a seaport, and all kinds of crazy media molecule art going on all the way through it. Okay. So is, is getting the envelope, getting the message out of his envelope head, is, is, that the, is that the story then? As far as we know at the moment, yeah, I mean, uh, very, there's very, you know, there's no dialogue in the game. There's, a, it's a bit meta. Um, from what we've seen, there are various environmental messages as you go. One of the towns, Sogport, is slowly sinking into glue because its its citizens have been using up the paper around it. Um, oh, right. So there'll be themes as we go, I think. Yeah. Uh, so it's, a, it's obviously a Vita thing. We're seeing some of the, the finger pushing kind of stuff. Did you see much of how it kind of interacts with the real world? Um, well, I saw plenty of the sort of haptic control stuff, and I got to push my fingers through the haptic control. The, yeah, the touchy feel yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Does it, does it work? I mean, do you, do you see it and go, "Oh, that is my finger"? Um, you can tell that it's not. It's not photorealistic fingers and thumbs. Um, but does it does it sort of fool your brain? But it, yeah, it really does feel like you've just pushed through a, bit, a piece of paper and, and you're disrupting the game. And also, there is a drum skin which you you tap the rear touchpad. So, so we're into actual gameplay here. So those, those drum skins, you're not pressing a button. You're you're hitting the Vita yeah you're hitting it and it, it how, how hard you hit actually determines how how far into the air you'll chuck Iota and okay. things like that we saw that you made a hole there and it came through like portal style somewhere else is there a sort of a purpose to that or is that just showing I think at this stage this area is kind of a playground where it's just, just showing you what it can do, it can do and the, these insane movements to all the plants and things yeah. that seem impossible unless you're like a ninja grade origami expert and a little basketball yeah hoop just for that's fun. very little big planet to me that's the sort of that's the little big planet level creation 101 almost yeah and the, and the sort of the, the disembodied cheers that you get as well there's something really media molecule is, is the that. sound yeah the sound design seems quite similar even the sort of confetti is quite pop it menu does it does it feel like a like a media molecule game do you sort of immediately get that kind of resonance with little big planet it absolutely feels like a medium molecule molecule game i wouldn't say it feels like a little big planet game um but you do get that kind of that really infectious enthusiasm that that comes through in their games and you know the kind of it's a cliche but the fun for all ages atmosphere and that you know an adult can enjoy the game just as much as as a child can um and it's it's just perpetually charming in every area yeah so what are these little um little ribbons we're seeing being collected here do they what purpose do they serve so they're they're a collectible that i think as yet um it's undecided what they're going to give you as you go through the game but they're dotted around everywhere okay uh, you can also see the kind of butterflies and gophers and you know indigenous life to each area as well that you can play around with i picked up a gopher and just chucked it in a kind of venus flytrap plant for longer than one should really. yeah <laughs> how what are the sort of the interactions because we're seeing here we're throwing like a, a pearl at a target um, it's obviously a tutorial for how you catch these these Wendigo creatures. What yeah. are your sort of touch points and interactions with with the world? So you know, as you can see, the the world will fold and morph in various ways. Sometimes through Iota, and sometimes through you reaching into the game and yeah. doing it. This is um, glue, isn't it? That, that sort of it's like a prit stick. Yeah, that's been. Um, there's a different type of glue, like a sea of glue, that you drown in instantly, and that's <laughs> a much friendlier type of glue that helps you get around. See him rolling up there to to get around things. Yeah, yeah and to to roll, you just hold down uh, X, and that gives you a quicker uh, speed of movement. For getting past the Wendigos and getting the Wendigos are obsessed by the pearls. We just saw um, I go to grab a pearl from inside a, a paper clam and yeah. chuck it towards him. So that's pretty crucial. Is there point. any kind of reason behind the Wendigos, or are they just they're just enemies? I think it, yeah. I mean, there's a really really folklore atmosphere, and it's just a hodgepodge of all these different mythologies. Um, the Media Molecules guys were showing me a picture of a merboy from a museum in Canada, which was clearly a monkey stuck to a fish. Yes, I've seen that. Had, yeah. yeah, you know, and they seem really fixated on that kind of thing, and, and it, it shines through in the, in the monster design. Um, so, I, I, you know, I wouldn't expect them to all gel together, you know, in a, in a literal storyline. Mm. But it kind of all makes a, a daft kind of sense when you. There's a camera there for when you've outsmarted the enemies. That's Is that cool. so? What do you just get like a. Like a chance to take it, like a trophy shot, or is yeah, that it's accessible all the time? It's access. Yeah, it's um, both the shoulder buttons, and you can take a picture of a nice scene or an outsmarted Wendigo or whatever you feel like. 
Okay, so we're seeing, obviously there's a, you're kind of escaping Wendigos here, um, using, a, is that a glue wall to get up there? Yeah, Do you, yeah. I mean, what is the sort of, what are you doing as a, the majority of the time? Is it, are you just sort of exploring and platforming and occasionally escaping monsters? Is that the... Well, the, the way one of the designers, Rex Crowell, described it is that there are playground areas to kind of just mess around with the world and then there are pinch points where you're forced into a quicker pace of play by the Wendigos. Right. So you'll need to figure out a puzzle quickly, otherwise you know, you'll get killed, kind of like Sackboy would um, in the Little Big Planet games. Um, but there are also kind of wider open areas where you're free to just have fun as well. Right, but like a sort of a hub area or just, just more to yeah. discover? Um, yeah, so we saw you know the basketball hoops. Just across from that, there is the, the plant that is kind of a portal. So you throw something into the plant on the ground and it comes out of the wall. Yeah. So there are areas like that as well as this quite manic, you know, Wendigo infested area that we're seeing now. And it's essentially like a chase, isn't it? You sort of, you've just got to keep going or you're going to get... Yeah, so you need to figure out. Do you, the you die? I mean, how's what's the sort of the punishment? Uh, you, yeah, you die, and you see the envelope just flitter off into the distance, and then you respawn from a checkpoint. So it's it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, I think, um, you know, I died a fair few times when I was getting to grips with it. Uh, I don't think you're going to be penalised too heavily for it. When you say getting to grips with it, in in what way? Just just getting used to the controls, or does it do anything that takes a bit of sort of getting used to? Yeah, I mean, there it takes a, a while actually to figure out that, say, with the rear touchpad, that that is. Um, um, it's sensitive to how hard you hit it as well and yeah. uh, things like that so to make a certain jump you don't realize initially how hard you actually have to hit the Vita you know so, things like that um, and also an element of me just being a little bit cat handed <laughs> <laughs> does it sort of explain like obviously we've got these presents popping up as cages does it sort of explain itself at all or is it just cages are our presence in in this world. Yeah, so you'll, you'll get like a little tutorial like we saw there. Um, so this in this puzzle though, oh, there we go, we saw him die. Oh, that's, so you that's just, what happened. Oh, so that's what those little stars are then? Yeah, that's a little right. checkpoint. Um, so here you're guiding the fish into those plants, the lilies, and then they swallow them up. So it's you know a matter of just walking in the right direction and then... How do you pick things up? You see that little icon there showing... You yeah, pick. that's square, so you can pick up like the gophers and the fish. You can grab a fish and get yeah. launched up by this thing. I'd hate to have to try and make that in real life. <laughs> I'm not sure it's physically are, possible. Are all the things kind of makeable? I mean, it looks like they've that's all been made say. in real life first. I mean, I can't... Yeah. Well, one of the really interesting things is that in the level editor that they were, you know, creating while we were there, um, there's a there's a overlay that you can put on that shows you the bit of paper that you would need to create each shape and then all the folds and tabs and things to make each bit. So they're pushing wow. the idea of these physical trophies that once you've kind of beaten um, a character in a game then you'll be able to make it. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work yet. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's classic Medium Molecule again. When, when you say level editor, is that what something that people can use to build their own levels, or is that what they're using? It's to... a, at the moment, it's what they're using, but yeah. um, I, uh, you know, I can really see that making it into the final game. I mean, it, again, it's something that was so important in Little Big Planet. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if there isn't some level of user creation in this one as well. Okay. So we're just guiding a pearl through some some of the friendly prit stick stuff I think there there is that's, the other type of glue that's the glue C isn't it it's yeah. bubbling away um, yeah there are so many wendigos in this area <laughs> and so many cages do we know why they're obsessed with pearls or it just they are I don't know now that's interesting there's a little alphabet the game has its own alphabet based on Hebrew uh, and we don't know what that does yet but fingers, oh, cool. fingers crossed it'll be uh, make it to the final game so I mean overall you're, you, you spent a few hours playing it your sort of impressions of it it's, it's so charming you could really play the game for, for hours and not realise how much time has passed it, it feels like a full ball media molecule game it's going to be fantastic cool thank you very much thanks